I don't know if gaming is dying or if we are just getting bad video games. Seems once gaming's biggest franchises are now nothing more than lackluster and mediocre versions of themselves that are performing outstandingly well financially but are struggling to capture the once diehard fanbase that they had hosted with amazing video games for almost over a decade. The issue here lies with the gaming industry. They seem to have lost touch with their fan bases and now are struggling to capture gamers. The thing is, just because a video game sells well, doesn't mean it will perform well. What I mean by perform is how well the game is received and thereafter the game needs to be received and later criticized and rated. The other thing is a game needs to be purchased in order to see what the game is like. Even if it is a good or bad, you need to buy it unless you're a person who reviews games for a living and you get a free copy by which most positive opinions on the games are essentially bought by a financial incentive from the game developer to the video game reviewer. The reason I chose the gaming franchises in my thumbnail is because these are all franchises of games that I have owned in the past or still own and play regularly. Need for Speed, Call of Duty, Battlefield, Assassin's Creed, Far Cry and Grand Theft Auto. What all these franchises have in common is now they are struggling to make good video games, being plagued with bad to mediocre reviews from angry and disappointed fans and people who bought their video games. With Grand Theft Auto for example, GTA 5 is the latest Grand Theft Auto game and it was released 10 years ago and we know that GTA 6 has officially been announced that it is in development and we all saw the leaks but 10 years is a long time and seems like people have moved on to other games. My conclusion is that we are not getting good video games and it's not a secret anymore charging full price for such bad video games also adds to the fall off or downfall of the video game franchises. It's sad to see the state of our beloved video game franchises that once gave us hours and hours of fun and entertainment can now barely keep up with the level of standard of the great video games that they created. And with that, this is the Chili Man signing off. I thank everyone for watching. Peace out.